the nucleus is surrounded by a double membrane structure called the nuclear envelope. The envelope is embedded with protein complexes called nuclear pores, which are openings that regulate the chemical traffic between the cytoplasm and the fluid within the nucleus, the nucleoplasm. Inside the nucleus are structures called nucleoli. If you're talking about one of them, it's referred to as a nucleolus. Now be careful not to get mixed up between these nuclei terms, nucleus, the nucleoli, and nucleolus. There are often several nucleoli, granular structures made of protein and RNA in the nucleus. Their main function is to produce the small and large subunits of the ribosomes, which we've learned are the sites of protein synthesis. The nucleus functions in the storage and protection of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. DNA comes in two forms, chromatin and chromosomes. Chromatin, as shown here, is the more diffuse, unorganized DNA that takes the form of tiny threads that fill up the nucleus. Chromatin is present in cells that are not dividing, cells in the interphase period of the cell cycle where they are preparing to divide. Cells in interphase are busy copying organelles, synthesizing new DNA, copying enzymes, and carrying out lots of protein synthesis in preparation for the steps of mitosis or meiosis, the two major forms of cell division. Chromatin is unorganized DNA, found as loose threads that are spread out or diffuse within the nucleus. When the cell is dividing early in mitosis, during a stage called prophase, chromatin is condensing into organized rod-shaped structures called chromosomes, the second form of DNA. Chromosomes are present in dividing cells during mitosis and meiosis. Chromosome means colored body and are so named because they take on a lot of dark stain in microscope preparations, which makes them easy to see. Chromosomes must be replicated or copied so they can be passed on to new cells. Here is the original parent chromosome attached to its copy at a constriction point called the centromere. Each pair of chromosomes is referred to as sister chromatids and are tied together as they move through the stages of cell division. Chromosomes are organized DNA, where specific genes can be located on each chromosome body. The location of each gene on a chromosome is called a locus. The plural is loci. A gene contains specific instructions for the synthesis of a protein, which directs the correct amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, into their proper order to make a specific protein molecule. After the cell completes its division, the chromosomes unravel and return back into chromatin. Chromatin twists and folds into chromosomes during a process called DNA condensation. The DNA molecule condenses and gets tightly wound around itself. Here is the DNA double helix that is going to unite with these specialized protein binding sites called histones. As DNA wraps around a histone protein, it forms a small complex called a nucleosome, which resembles a string of pearls. This collection of histones in DNA is what forms the basic structure of chromatin. The chromatin fiber gets thicker and denser as the nucleosomes combine with each other and begin to spiral, fold, and loop directly into the larger bodies of the chromosomes. Here is a chromosome with two sister chromatids bound at their centromere. This union helps ensure that the original parent DNA and its copy will move together during the early stages of cell division, prophase and metaphase, until they are finally pulled apart and separated during a later stage called anaphase. 
This helps ensure that each of the two daughter cells will inherit the same chromosome with the same number and types of genes.